Welcome to part two of the Clown Motel investigation. In part one, you saw us freaking out over some guy stalking us at the graveyard. So this is right after we left because of him and decided to investigate our room. I just kept getting this sense of something behind me, right? So I kept looking and then remember I was like, let's go over oh. there to investigate because something's like pulling us there. I think whatever was pulling us there was pulling us there to show us that there was a human being there. Because yeah. they were probably picking up whatever that person was thinking or planning oh, so we just got back inside uh, as you can see we've been panicking um, this thing keeps going off like every time we're talking about what happened so we're just gonna do another spirit box session I guess because the energy is like following us like we're still freaked out and I don't know and then the the little cat ball went went off and now this is going off again so yeah we're doing another spirit box session <laughs> Are we being followed? Now it's going off. What do you think of that guy's energy who is out there with us? Do you enjoy that a millions of people know about the Clown Motel and like to visit you here? Are we safe? Weekend. Weekend? It's Saturday. Yeah, it is Saturday. Now the little beep thing keeps going off again. What do the beeps mean? I mean, I know it's temperature change. I don't feel the temperature change. Exactly. Are you trying to talk to us? My ear started hurting. I don't know. Weird. Can you give us a sign of your presence? Are you worried that some dude is going to be standing there? I, I feel on edge. I feel on edge right now. Like, there's an energy for sure, but also, like, that dude and, like, everything put together is, like, I don't know, man. Crazy. It's a crazy night. And this thing is freaking out. Look at it. What? Okay. It just keeps doing that, and it's beeping, and I, I don't know what's happening. Like it shouldn't, it shouldn't just be beeping like that. It sh that shouldn't be happening. I think it's Morse code. Yeah. It, it, unfortunately, we don't speak Morse code. We don't know how to interpret it. Um, it's beeping again, and it, it'll be. So it's blue colder. Yeah, and, and red is hotter. Yeah. So like, why is it? I don't know, this is just weird right now. I don't know. Can you move something in this room so we know you're here? We just want to know that you're there. Where are you from? Burning him? Burning him or burning cup. But they all burned alive in the mines. Back in 1911, there was a tragic fire in the mines of the Belmont Mining Company, in which 17 people lost their lives. Are you burning? Do you work here? Sounds like what? Mm -hmm. Do you want us to stay here? This thing is freaking out. I've never been at a location where it just beeped like this the whole time. And it started at the graveyard, but it wasn't doing it at first. I'm gonna reset it. 
Sorry. It's okay. Whoa, no. We I actually appreciate your help. Yeah. What's your name? I actually felt something and it touched my back. What? Yeah. Ooh. Like how hard? It's like a rubbing. Like a soothing. Oh. Really? But I actually don't appreciate that. So if you can please stop. Yeah, you can touch me instead. Can you touch my shoulder? Is there more than one of you? Yeah. My name is Sarah and her name is Liz. What's your name? Can you say hello? Can you say hello? This is so weird. How long have you been here? How old are you? Who was out there watching us? Were you watching out for us? like fighting the reset. It's literally fighting the reset. It should just stop every time you click that. I don't know what's going on. It's going up and down. Yeah, what the hell? It feels weird. I feel like my head feels too, like it's being like squished. I don't know how to explain it. Ooh, yeah, okay, now I have goosebumps. This feels weird. Okay, um... It's not, it's not a bad energy, like, not necessarily. Um, I, I it's feel just safe. a presence, you yeah. know, which always feels weird. <laughs> it, it never feels... I mean, it feels weird. Um, After this, we went to bed and had a series of really strange experiences. Through the magic of editing, it is now the next day and we had some pretty interesting stuff happen overnight. So I actually had a lucid dream, but it was also a dream within a dream. In this dream, uh, my ex actually crawled into bed with me and told me that it's hard to be in jail. But the weird thing about this is that I woke up and I looked over because I had this sense as if something had gotten into bed with Sarah, but she looked okay, so I wasn't that worried. She woke up because she thought that somebody crawled into bed with me and in my dream that actually happened So that's super weird. It's like realities were merging or something Also, there were a lot of weird sounds coming from the closet that was boarded up and this was like really freaking me out Really sketching me out So I like stayed up very late because I didn't know if somebody was in there like the Villisca, Iowa axe murderer house You know what I mean? So ooh, that freaked me out. And it also sounded like there were tricksters on the roof Yeah, there was like footsteps running on the roof but there's no floor above us so there was no reason for that to be happening and also at one point during the night I got this uh, I can't even explain it it was like I started thinking in the way that a murderer would thinking not in the sense that I wanted to murder somebody Invasive but like I could thoughts. feel yeah I could feel the thoughts of somebody who had intention to murder and it was super weird but it was like this dark murderous clown vibes I don't know but it was a very interesting night and there you have it, folks. This was our wild experience at the Clown Motel. Be sure to check out the rest of the playlist entitled Paranormal Road Trip. Subscribe!